Come. Today I'm talking to you about what you need to do to prepare for a career in electrical engineering. What you need to do or what you need to know to prepare for a career in electrical engineering. By the way, my name is Rudubin Gaditun and I'm your host on this YouTube channel referred to as Ulubenga Adetis on YouTube channel. I'll be happy if you stay tuned to the very end as there's some bounty that I have in store for those who do. Now, electrical engineering. In some places where this course, course is being studied in the university, it's also called electrical stroke electronics engineering. It's an engineering course that you do and it makes you to be able to handle electrical and electronics issues in anywhere you find yourself. Electrical engineers, they design and they know how electrical um, wiring and other things ought to be done. They know the nitty gritty and they know everything that is to be done when you are talking about electrical installations. Now, let me give you an example. Let's assume that you have a country or you have a state and they have a power grid. And the power grid has a particular type of transformer and um, they are getting direct source of electrical power from a particular place. And now for it to be able to feed to the people in the locality that will feed to their homes, there are different capacities of transformers. There are different capacities of wires. There are different things involved. You can't just go and buy anything and install it and do anything and say that is how it should also be done. These are part of the activities of electrical engineers. They know the required thing you're supposed to use. They know what you're supposed to use. And also, they are involved even in the manufacture and in the um, putting of all those equipment together. Now, what does it take if you are going to become an electrical engineer? Number one, from secondary school, you must be good in the science courses. And when I talk about the science courses, I'm talking about math, English, physics, chemistry, and further math, and maybe even electronics. Some secondary schools offer electronics and the secondary school level. So you'll be good in that. If your school is not offering further math at secondary school, I want to plead with you go and get yourself a further master's book and try to master and try to solve and uh, go through the examples and solve the further mass uh, uh, test book by yourself and teach yourself further mass and if possible write further mass in your YEC exam or in other terminal exams you're going to do in your secondary school now when you finish secondary school with a good uh, um, distinction or credit at uh, second after secondary school in your terminal exam you have a good distinction a good result in uh, mass english physics chemistry further mass geography and uh, maybe electronics in uh, then you are qualified to enter to gain admission to the university now different countries have different admission requirements to enter the university in some countries, you can go directly from your O level with that O level result and go and do the entrance examination to the university and gain, get admitted and start doing your electrical engineering course. In some other countries, also, you can you may not go into the electric, electrical engineering directly. You may do A level, and a typical example of a standard A level accepted anywhere in the world is Cambridge A level. This Cambridge A level, when you do it, it qualifies you and you pass it. It qualifies you to enter 20 level as an electrical or electronics engineering student. When you get into the university, you continue taking all the prescribed courses that are in the university. Every course required prescribed for electrical engineering in different universities, they are all aligned to bring out the best in the students as an electrical engineer so it doesn't really matter where you study uh the all universities once they are recognized you can complete your electrical engineering there and move on 
to do exploits in the field of electrical electronics engineering. So you do all the prescribed courses at 100 level, 200 level, 3, 4, and then 500 level. After you've passed the courses, done the practicals, done the personal projects and the seminars and everything, you do your IT and an engin electrical engineering firm where you learn hands-on experience. Then the Senate of, the un of your university will award you the degree. And then when they find you worthy in character and in learning, and then you become an electrical engineer and then you can go out to the world and do exploits and find electrical engineering out, um, outfits, outlets, both government and private, to work with. And you can also start your own electrical engineering outfit. I heard about an individual who um, knows about electrical um, materials and he buys um, stabilizers. He buys stabilizers, perhaps stabilizer produced in the market in that particular country which I'm not going to mention, are not, uh, they are good, but after a while, they get burnt. After a while, after a little bit of use, the stabilizer, uh, electrical stabilizer get burnt. So this individual will buy the new stabilizers in bulk, plenty, and he has detected what he was getting the stabilizer to get burnt on time, is the stabilizer. So, and he started his own system, whereby he will buy those stabilizers and he will get them repaired. He will change that particular thing that he knows is getting it, making it to get burnt on time and then he will resell it. And then after some time, he's known and uh, he's an employer of labor also today because he is building stabilizers. So we should be looking at this area and not just looking at going to work in a company, in a big company or in a, start, in a small company. Electrical engineers, start your own company, do your own thing, think of something, and we are going to celebrate you together. I'm going to talk to you some other time. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, share my video, like the video, comment on the video, and watch and watch and watch and watch again and again. I have over 150 videos. Check them out and watch them over and over. And you are going to be glad you did. I am Olubin Gadit Tun. And I am going to talk to you some other time. Bye-bye for now. And remain blessed. Bye.